to food banks for help. Rupert Evelyn spent the day at one in Salisbury. Across Britain, the numbers of those unable to provide themselves with even the basic needs for life is on the up. At this food bank in Salisbury, demand is unrelenting. Grandmother Paula Cooper is 60 today. She's collecting food for her and her son. Without money, it's an emergency brought about by a simple requirement to eat. Money's a bit tight and my pennies don't stretch to a lot, so these people here help me now and again to provide for my cupboard. Could you just Cancer by sufferer by Ron Palmer wait. has been given less than six months to live. In and out of hospital, he's frequently used the food bank when the benefit system has failed to understand his circumstances. Angry. Angry. I feel angry. Um, I feel let down. Um, you have enough to deal with, to cope with, without trying to cope with this as well, you know? In the last year, one of the leading food bank providers has seen their numbers rise from 79 to 167. They've helped 61,000 people, a number they expect to rise to half a million by 2015. Economic hardships have led to an increase in working families and the under 25s seeking help. Many millions of people are below the poverty line trying to make ends meet on low incomes, low wages, uh, with food prices rising. And we see more and more families, more and more people with children who simply can't make it to the end of the week. It is perhaps an uncomfortable reality that Britain, a first world country, now faces the type of problems more commonly associated with the developing world. People who simply cannot afford to eat. Rupert Evelyn, ITV News, Salisbury.